We've got a descendant of reggae royalty with us this morning. She's the firstborn daughter of Bob Marley, and trust me, that's probably the least impressive thing about her. She's got a long list of accolades and achievements. She's a Grammy-winning musician, the CEO of a record label, Tough Gong, going international, and now a New York Times bestselling author, Sadella Marley. She's right there. You can see her. She's with me now to talk more about the release of her new kids' book, Marley and the Family Band. So I appreciate you making time for us. It means a lot. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, first of all, you know, do you get annoyed when people, oh, you're Bob Marley's daughter? But I mean, it's it's bound to come up. You're proud of your dad, huh? Well, I mean, I'm I'm in my fifties, so I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you just never get used to it. Uh, but listen, like I mentioned, you have a long list of accolades of your own. You've achieved so much. But we're going to focus in on this children's book. Uh, it's something that randomly I've always wanted to do. So walk me through, um, you know, the idea behind the book and how it all came about. Well, just like the main character, Marley, my family and I, we moved from Jamaica to Wilmington, Delaware, when I was a very young girl. Um, while the story is inspired by my childhood, I wrote this book as a homage to the legacy of my father. Um, it is also a shout out to the unifying power of music, as well as the importance of migration stories for children. How was that experience? I'm sure, you know, that's what the book is about. But how was that experience going from Jamaica to Delaware? I'm um, scary. I mean, you know, Jamaica, was, we're full of beaches and, and great food. And, and Delaware was just cold and, and not good food. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it, took, it took a while. It took a while. But um, yeah. my grandmother, whose name is also Sadella, was a great cook. So we ate really well in our house in Wilmington, Delaware. It's all good. So what is the, um, the aim of your book? What is the story or achievement that you're trying to create here? Um, I, want, I want readers to appreciate and celebrate and embrace all cultures. Um, kindness and acceptance goes a long way, especially as you know we're growing as ch from children to adults. Um, so we live and we learn together under the same sun you know, the same stars and the same moon. So I think it's about bringing people together, unifying them with, with love and understanding. How was it writing this book? I mean, walk me through the process of it. Did it bring up a lot of emotions or were you pretty objective with it? No, I was, I was very um, focused on what, what the story was and what I wanted to, to talk to my children audience about. And so um, it's really, what I what I what I found in Delaware was the community was together, but us coming from Jamaica, we were aliens, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was about letting them understand that although we have a different um, accent, yeah, um, we're basically saying the same words, just saying it a little differently. So <laughs> I really wanted you know to to kind of bring that and and teach that and and just letting the world know that there's acceptance out there from all cultures. So um, my family are immigrants as well, so my parents have very heavy accents. Did you, growing up, did anyone ever tease you for your parents having accents or for you talking differently or anything like that, do you recall? No, of course, of course. I mean, yeah. And then, and then you know what was, what was funny? When I moved back to Jamaica and I had an American accent, I got teased for having yes. one. <laughs> you can't, Sadella, you can't win. So I, I'm of a Polish background, so same thing. Polish people say, oh, you have an American accent, and vi you know, vice versa. Yeah. What a great book, because this not only covers your story, but see, I'm relating to it, and we have completely different backgrounds as well, so that's wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Where can people get the book? Um, everywhere. Amazon, um, I guess Barnes and Noble, um, wherever books are sold, put it that way. Yeah. Um, I have to ask, you know, do you have any advice for kids right now who are watching or who will see this later, who are maybe going through, even if it's not a big dramatic shift like you going from Jamaica to Delaware, but just going through something similar in their own life to help get them through it? Well, you know, kindness, kindness is free. You know, love is free. And sometimes it's those little things that we have to just give away. You know, we can give away love, we can give away kindness. And um, 
you might find that we're more similar than not, you know, when we just have open and honest conversations. So, we, all, yeah. we all have the same emotions, right, deep down inside? Exactly. Sadala, do you want to say anything else before we go? Well, I want to say one love. Um, I'm very busy. I'm, I'm on the road with Skip Marley on his change tour. Nice. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm taking Marley and the family band with me wherever I go. <laughs> I love it. Right. Oh, Sadala, that's so cool. Thank you so much for making time for us. We really appreciate it. Marley and the family band available everywhere. You heard her say it. Sadala, thank you and good luck on the trip. One love. One love. Bye, Sadala.